urban gardening time in here, join me in my garden growing plants, seedlings, and cuttings in tropical Asia. These are the four bottle gourds that I'm going to be drying. Some I had to remove before the stems and vine were totally dry because the rainy season was fast approaching and I was concerned they would get moldy and rot if left outside. Turns out drying bottle gourd seems to be a bit problematic. This one especially we're having problems with. It's getting a lot of fungus and it's a bit soft. I don't know if it's going to survive. This one's doing okay. It's starting to turn a nice brown color and that's a good sign. This one also seems to be turning a nice brown color and that's also a good sign. This little one back here is still green and I don't know if that's good or bad. Trying to dry bottle gourds in a tropical climate is quite challenging, especially when the humidity usually hovers around 75% and the heat index reaches about 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 102 degrees Fahrenheit virtually every day. What seems to happen is that overnight, this black mold or fungus grows on them. During the day, I keep a fan on them, but the black mold seems to come back every morning. I have a white sock here, so I'm going to rub the bottle gourds and you can see the black mold that comes off. So I've made a weak bleach solution, one parts bleach to about 10 parts water, and I try to clean them with this solution every morning to hopefully kill the mold and prevent it from coming back. I keep a fan on them almost all day. You can see all the black mold or fungus that comes off of them. It's been another month. Our gourds are slowly drying and I no longer have to keep them in front of the fan. Thankfully, the black mold stopped after about five days. The weak bleach solution really seemed to do the trick. Their skin is still soft to the touch, though dry enough to peel with my fingernails. These two bottle gourds have dried for about three months, and they've dried really well. And I've removed some of the skins just by scraping it with my fingernail, but I really want to clean all this dried skin off these two bottle gourds and see what they look like. Clean your bottle gourds by soaking them in water for 20 minutes. I have a nice big bucket here. And we're going to fill it with some water. Once you know it, our bottle gourds are floating. If you like, you can add about a tablespoon of bleach to the water to help prevent mold and fungus growth. To keep our bottle gourds nice and moist, we're going to wrap them in towels. It's been 20 minutes. Time to take our bottle gourds out of their bath and scrub them down. Now I have three tools that I like to use to clean my bottle gourds. One is a uh, scrubby that you use for non-stick pots and pans. And you can see it's removing the skin very quickly. Another tool I like to use is also another type of <clears throat> scrubby that we use for the non-stick pots and pans and all the soap is from the bleach. Sorry, it makes it a little bit difficult to see. Uh, how quickly it's cleaning, but it's cleaning really fast. And the third type of implement of destruction I like to use is just a brush with plastic bristles and they can be pretty coarse and it will not hurt the uh, bottle gourd, but it will take off the skin and um, this works really, really well. All three of these methods work really, really well. If the skin isn't coming off real, real quickly, though it usually does, is just let it soak for another five or ten minutes. 
and it will come off really, really easy. When you've finished cleaning them, give them a good rinse. And then you can set them out to dry. Here's the cleaned and dry gourds. Wow, they sure look different now that we cleaned them up. They have a light, almost golden color. Note that where I removed some of the skin with my fingernail, it's a bit discolored. I suggest you keep the skin intact as much as you can. At this point, you can shellac them or paint them or make whatever creative item you want. I personally like them just as they are and enjoy picking them up and shaking them like giant maracas. You can find written notes and a link to my garden videos playlist in the description below. One, two, Click that like button and subscribe for more videos. Happy gardening. See you next time.